Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the World Cup 2020 of UHC. The Netherlands are strip mining a bit high, I think. Uh, though to be fair, you can't find anything via strip mining on this server. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> trying to trying to find caves is uh, is difficult business. But uh, Misha has found some diamonds will uh, finally be able to create uh, some... Uh, oh no, uh, Misha already, uh, already has the enchantment table for Russia. So, now it's going to be, uh, apart from uh, getting the gear that will be necessary for getting all the kills. Let me do a quick look-see around if there are neighbors that Misha should be worried about. By the looks of it, not exactly. But Misha has decided, I'm making the diamond boots. And, uh, will he put the... the... Um, pr protection 2 on it? Yes, the answer was yes. I shall put the protection 2 on the boots. Let's see what where luck brings us. Brings us to where Super Gamer Plays dwells. Of course, Super Gamer Plays dwells in Norway. Who was hoping, of course, to, uh... To fight against longtime nemesis Sweden, but unfortunately Matthew was too drunk to wake up and uh, represent Sweden. So here we are. <laughs> Super Gamer plays uh, wins the Battle of Scandinavia by default. Already have diamond with the two biggest pieces, um, and already protection two on the chest plate. The enchantment situation is going very well for Super Gamer plays. Um, Super Gamer Plays usually has a little bit more uh, difficulty when it comes to PvP, you could say, a little bit like myself. Um, but you never know. With uh, a sufficiently high gear advantage, uh, you don't know what Super Gamer Plays might be able to accomplish for Norway. Norway, of course, which is famous for being the birthplace of the Cornballer. Otacon, also in Half Diamonds brazenly smelting everything on the surface, probably because he was hoping to get some apples at the same time. My own strategy... Well, okay, yeah, you saw he took out the shears and got the apples he wanted. Got it done. Fancy taking some damage from skeletons. Where's Fancy? Fancy's already over here. Because uh, I, I think I didn't get the chance to visit Fancy uh, in the previous episodes. It's amazing how quickly they go by. You need to visit so many perspectives and to uh, let uh, so many people represent, but Fancy, of course, representing Malaysia, birthplace of the Cornballer, and uh, uh, has um, already made an impact in uh, some power moves, um, that, that some game-changing moves, I would say, in uh, the World Cup 2018. Maybe uh, Fancy can uh, have uh, do the same kind of moves, perhaps, this season, this year, but perhaps with uh, a little more luck uh, going his way uh, than in the, the previous uh, versions of the World Cup. Uh, there's no neighbors to be worried about. And Peridot is failing to tackle some uh, skeletons, but don't worry, he's enchanted. He's got all the... he's got all that gear. 
He's got all the gear, well, all the enchanted gear. At this point, uh, he might want more diamonds. But he's got, uh, that's a, that's really, he, he was w hanging around a rather delectable mall. But if you can manage to, uh, find all of the, uh, all the things, you never know. I just want to click to this event. There you go. Das has found a spawner, destroyed it. Um, and, uh, if there's any good loot to speak of, uh, he's gonna, it's gonna be here, and, uh, the loot is disappointing for Daphs. Daphs was getting a little bit desperate for finding for a cave, but... Daphs, right here, diamonds, they're, they're upon you. If uh, you know where to look, uh, Daphs will surely find them at some point. Surely? Don't call me Shirley. I'm, yeah, going in the wrong direction. Going back to whence he came. He's he's eventually, I mean, if he keeps going that way, he's eventually going to get the diamonds. I think he just saw them. I think he just saw them. He also saw the skeleton, which is, uh, you know. <laughs> that Kelly is being like a real nub. Completely hidden. It's going to make it difficult for Daphs to uh, get to the diamonds just because of this skeleton guarding the way. But of course, taking no chances, making sure no damage will be taken by placing all the blocks. Blocks are your friends in Minecraft, it turns out. There's also a creeper chilling, like... Oh, okay, right over there. So Sluggy G's crafted an anvil. Das is uh, prepping the area for a uh, skeleton in extermination. And there you go. Mission accomplished. It's just got to make sure that uh, that creeper doesn't uh, get to him while he's mining the diamonds. So he's securing the area first and then going for the diamonds. We're staying we're staying a while here with that, but that's the uh, right here. That's it. really making sure he's not going to be taking any damage from these mobs, just being as safe as possible. Almost lost that diamond, but did not. I think he's gonna be at four diamonds, though, one short of enchantments. So, but he does have a total of seven now, so actually, he, he... He's gonna be, he's gonna be fine. Skylord has found yet another spawner. I think, I don't, I don't know how many it's been now for him, but it's, it's been a few. And this one has two extra golden apples. So he'll be able to carry a total of eight now. And he's three quarters diamond. S Skylord also uh, being a part of the top five in terms of PvP in this whole thing, in, in my opinion. I think he's uh, he's taking a serious, serious um, option here for victory. So I'm thinking uh, the odds for Croatia are are looking pretty good this season. It's looking pretty good for Croatia. Who knows what happens? Uh, anything can happen in the UHC World Cup. So good odds is not a victory in itself. It's they're just odds. Sluggy G also doing pretty well. Pretty well would probably be f favored uh, to. It'd probably be. Uh, able to deal with most threats maybe not all of them because yeah some players have better gear Kubislav making a bow Brent for Belgium in uh, well he's got a companion he's got a little dog friend but uh, he's found some books the feather falling book could potentially come in handy, but what he really wants at this point is formal enchantments, enough diamonds to craft that table and uh, get all of the gear enchanted up. Um, we've got a fight between Jord Tim and... who was it even? Hang on, and Jord Tim just won! Now, uh, I can barely believe this. <laughs> Because, uh, as you remember, Heon was in the top five, top five 
most likely to uh, to to win a fight. And George Tim was in the bottom five. And uh, yeah, Otacon uh, just used that uh, New Zealand ping to. Uh, well, actually, New Zealand ping against Australian ping, I don't think is uh, <laughs> is that much of a of a disadvantage. That was actually, you know, but uh, that talk about look for Otacon because now he's uh, he's got all the stuff Hayon had. All the stuff George Tim had, which is which is to be fair, not that much. I don't know what happened to Hound that uh, that George Tim like wrecked him like this. Was he tabbed out? Was he what? What was happening? I don't know. And Lego Beast was blown up by a creeper. There goes Israel. So much action in so little time. So uh, here lies the grave of. Uh, uh, of 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 poor poor Lego Beast, leaving uh, behind some golds and some gear, not that much stuff, but uh, hoof, hoo la la. Alan uh, apparently did not have the plan of making enchantments, only healing, no enchantments, and uh, yeah, it's not looking like Alan's gonna make any enchantments anytime soon. Um, maybe episode nine. Right? What, what do you think? Skylord now making diamond leggings. I think he's he's eyeing Otacon. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, speaking of, let's uh, let's go follow uh, the. Uh, did I say? Uh, yeah, the the new the Kiwi murdering machine. Well, actually, he is the Kiwi. So I guess I guess he was the Aussie murdering machine. Uh, and of course, uh, in the rivalry between Australia and New Zealand, I think uh, some people are not going to hear the end of this one. But are there anyone? Is there anyone else nearby? The thing is, they were all at zero zero. They were all at zero zero already. Uh, they decided to get to zero zero early, try their chance, uh, try their test their metal, test their fate. I mean, again, man, a little. Uh, uh, a little at a loss for words at uh, what may have uh, happened to uh, Heon. Uh, I'll tab out and see if there's any way I can chat, but I don't think so. I think I think none none of them are available for me. And that is correct. That is correct. I cannot interview any of them. That's uh, taking damage to El Esqueleton. Brent finally finding one diamond. That's not going to be enough. Brent needs more diamond than that. <laughs> At least four more. Uh, but Kinako is still finding the gold, as is Joey. Uh, how much How much unsmelted is there here? Yeah, there's a decent amount of unsmelted gold. What's the rest of uh, the gear looking like? He's got the Diamond 3 protection chest plate. That's, uh, that's a big piece right here. Uh, the sword is sharpness three diamond. That's really strong at this point in the game. I would recommend uh, no one goes to zero zero to try and fight Otacon because things are not going to go well for them. Uh, he's got some significant gear, some significant healing, and uh, unless, for example, he's he's he'd be out of arrows or something, which which actually he can't he must not be since he's like literally throwing them away. There's just too many arrows for him. This is, it's just not a good idea at this moment for anyone but basically Skylord, I guess, to try and test their metal at zero zero. It's uh, not going to be a party. It's going to be a party for one person, and it's going to be a Kiwi party. Both Spam Lover. I don't have any stats for both Spam Lover. We'll expect that uh, this uh, Paraguayan player will be uh, both spamming. But uh, has he even a bow yet? The bow spammer does not yet have a bow. We will uh, have to locate some string in order to bow spam. Uh, that could be uh, that could um, mean a change of strategy. What's he gonna do? Sometimes uh, UHCs force you, especially like vanilla UHCs, they force you to uh, adapt. Sometimes you just don't have the luck that you're hoping to have and you have to find a way to 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 get things done in a in a different way <laughs> and be uh, think outside the box 
Uh, hence, I guess, the, the recent popularity of the likes of fruit berries. Evan finding more diamonds right here. He'll be able to uh, think right in the box with these diamonds. Uh, potentially, uh, potentially leggings or a helmet and a sword, depending on how uh, comfortable he is. Sluggy is uh, up to 21 diamonds at this point. Uh, so Sluggy might be able to uh, try and defy Otacon. Maybe Exmisha as well. I think Exmisha had had a decent amount of stuff. Sluggy hasn't crafted like most of the stuff yet, but uh, if you look at meh meh meh, Sluggy. All right. So if you look, he's got eight diamonds. Still looking. I bet for one more just to see if he can do uh, boots and helmet instead of pantaloons. Uh, I Black getting some diamonds is uh, one of the players with kills this season. And uh, Yashwin, uh, turns out, had a kill, and I missed it entirely. Missed it entirely. That's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have a... That's why spec, uh, spec Info is there, even though, you know, I guess I, I miss some things sometimes, obviously. You uh, are free to look in the description down below and, uh, and inquire see what you've missed so beneath Otacon caving at zero zero who is this individual it is Yashwin it is it is Maku uh, I don't have stats for Maku uh, Maku I got a kill from with an unenchanted diamond sword basically um, not sure how, how that happened really no clue really <laughs> uh, but um, We'll see. We'll, I'm, I'm just at, at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. I wasn't expecting that one. I don't, I don't know when it happened. Now I'm, throwing the, I'm wondering, like, what episode even did it happen? Did it just happen and I missed it? Or did it happen a long time ago and I was just too, like, not paying attention enough? Uh, Kanako has got a good mine shaft, but a little bit... He probably wants a little more diamond gear out of, out of this place, right? I think, you know, a diamond level mineshaft and you don't have full diamonds. Like when every time you get a diamond level mineshaft, you're thinking, oh, I could finally get full diamond. And when you when it kind of doesn't happen, you're actually kind of a little bit disappointed. <laughs> that's that's kind of how things go in, in Minecraft. Like you, you immediately assume you're going to get like the, the the best stuff. I like how I, I teleported immediately to Kanako again and he's found a... Uh, He's found, he's found a new region to explore, and there's more diamonds that are waiting for him, so uh, he'll be he'll be pleased. So apparently, Exmisha is the Iron Man, since I am not. Congratulations, uh, Evan, throwing the enchantment the enchanted books away. They are beneath him. Uh, they're probably trash and chance as he was cycling through the enchantments, trying to get the uh, the optimal enchantments. Sometimes the table is just uh, not uh, not playing cool with you, and I think Evan is actually done with this cave, potentially looking to uh, to go up and uh, PVP, do a little bit of the PVP perhaps. Uh, little does he know, uh, Otacon is waiting for all comers, including Peridot. Ryan here is going to have a bit a tough, tough, tough fight because he is quite undergeared. It's going to be a difficult one. Oh, who's blown up by a creeper, by the way? Burble, Liz. Oh no, Liz, blown up by a creeper. There goes the Netherlands in the middle of this fight. Nobody's going to be, nobody's going to be seeing it. So, so far, uh, Peridot is landing more shots, but he has to deal with wolves and that sword. There you go. That's that's all that was needed. The uh, I think Ryan got more shots in overall, but the gear of Otacon is just uh, is uh, whew. Otacon is uh, is on a roll already. Two kills, and it could be more. It could be more if. Uh, 
Because he, he probably actually still has a decently high amount of healing. Yeah, yeah, still got a rather high amount of healing. I don't think uh, Peridot made much of a dent in here. Let me check, of course, uh, if I can have a word. Oh, Peridot just left his chat. So, uh, unfortunately, I was about to hop in and uh, have a chat, but he just left. And probably uh, breaking his keyboard along the way. Uh, because of uh, the rage. <laughs> Pardon me for uh, yeah being uh, stuck like this for so long. I mean, but Otacon is just patrolling zero zero, waiting for uh, those who are silly enough to show up. I think with now two kills under his belt, some wiser players might be thinking. I think I think Otacon is up to something. And what is it? We'll see in two days. That's when all the answers will come. See you then! Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.